You may have noticed a new app bar on the left side of your SharePoint sites. Uh, today we're gonna walk through what it does and how it can be configured. The app bar is the newest release on SharePoint. You may have already noticed it because it's in everyone's SharePoint sites by default. It's this panel, the bar on the left side of the page, and what it does is provide a needed global navigation experience that can be customized to your organization, but more importantly, it also provides very quick and easy access to frequented sites in documents and news that are curated personally for that specific user. So it's a great way to access information that that user needs uh, without having to jump from site to site. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button below before you leave so that you can be alerted when we upload new videos. So let's take a quick look at what this looks like and what the different icons in the app bar currently do. So. When you first notice it, you're gonna see this little home icon up here. So that, if you click it, it's gonna bring you to what's called the SharePoint Start page. This is the same page that would lead you to if you were to click um, SharePoint from just the Office 365 app bar. It's essentially the SharePoint home page. Um, that's what that's gonna bring you to. There are some configuration options for that. This is actually the only icon out of the four that you can customize. And we'll get to a little bit of uh, some of those options after we go through quickly what the rest of these icons exist for. The next icon is called My Sites. It's this little globe. So if you click that one, that will bring you to two different categories of sites, sites that you frequent. So this is all fed by artificial intelligence. So it's gonna show personalized for that user the sites that they frequently go to. So if you've been working through a certain site uh, throughout the past week and you're jumping back and forth, that's likely gonna be where you can quickly jump back and forth to the sites that you have frequented lately. Um, it's also gonna show you sites that you have followed. So every time you're on a SharePoint site, there's that little star icon that you can click to follow that site. And once you do that, that will also show up in this list right here. There'll be a little title here um, saying followed, and it's gonna show you frequented sites as well as followed, the ones that you've specifically marked. Um, the next icon is this little newspaper, which is My News. Again, this is personalized for the user. Uh, there's artificial intelligence behind it that's going to curate news that Microsoft believes is personally most relevant to the user who's clicking that icon. So it's different for every person. Um, the emphasis that the artificial intelligence uses is it's going to prioritize organizational news, um, and then secondly, it's going to prioritize news that has been on sites that you frequent the most. So if you just click the news icon, my news, this will create a curated recommended list of news sites that are probably of interest to you. This final icon is my files. So this just, the icon's just a document, so it's a little bit obvious. It's going to show the recent files that you have worked on. Now this is gonna pull from both SharePoint and OneDrive. So again, it's gonna be personalized to every user because obviously what's on my OneDrive is only going to be visible to myself and somebody else. It'll show documents that have recently been worked on from their OneDrive. So again, it's a great, quick and easy way from anywhere in SharePoint that you can quickly access documents that you've been working on without jumping to a different site, going into documents and pulling up the document that way. Now we believe Microsoft called this an app bar on purpose because there are plans to add additional icons or apps um, to this. The next one that they have already announced that they will be adding in November or December is the, the guess right now of when it'll show up is a icon for that will lead to Microsoft lists. So again, another jump quick link that will lead to lists. All of these icons are going to show up um, on your SharePoint sites, whether you're, you want them or not. It's not optional. Um, if you've seen it already, it's there to stay and cannot be turned off. Uh, but there are some customizations that you can do 
only to the home icon, which is that first icon that's currently on the app bar. If you are a site owner, you can use, um, you can turn that icon into a more customized experience for your particular organization. More specifically, you can use that icon to become a global navigation experience for every user in your organization. So basically that um, navigation experience is going to be consistent no matter where they are in SharePoint. If they're on different team sites, different communication sites, they'll always have that uh, navigation right there available to them. So let's walk through how we would edit that if you so desired. Um, so this right here, you can see we changed ours to our logo, and that's one of the things you can do. What you'll do as a site owner is click the gear over here on the right side and just select global navigation. And you are gonna have to enable it. By default, this is probably off, so the first thing you'll just wanna do is switch that toggle to on. Here is where you add that logo, and that's where we can get a nice logo up for our global navigation instead of just the boring house icon. And title, so then again, what, it, what is it gonna say? Um, and the last option that you have is the navigation source. So here is where we're gonna pick which navigation from your already created site you're gonna use to source the navigation. Um, and you basically have three options. So one is home site navigation. So home site navigation works as your source, whether you have a home site configured or not. And what it's going to do is use the um, secondary navigation or local site navigation of the site of the page that you are on. So we're gonna insert a graphic right here to show you what we mean by local site navigation. So from the site that you're on, if you choose home site navigation, it's gonna choose that local site navigation links as your global navigation in the app bar. So let me show you what that will look like over here. When you click global navigation, these are the links that are gonna show up, which are sourced from what's called here as your home site navigation. Um, option number two, if you have your home site configured um, as a hub, and you have your hub site navigation configured already. So for us, for this example, we have hub site navigation. This is um, an edited home page of our company intranet. So we have hub site navigation here on the top where we, these links um, are here no matter which site they're at within our intranet, which is a hub site. Um, if you choose hub or global navigation as your navigation source, um, the default there will be to use your hub site navigation as your global navigation in the app bar. So this is important because it leaves uh, relevant, uh, quickly, frequently accessed information, which for us is our internet and for a lot of clients of ours as well, no matter where you are in SharePoint. So again, if, I, am I, if I'm off working on a project in a communication or team site elsewhere, I can quickly jump to our company internet information via the app bar, just quickly um, clicking that icon and seeing the links. Okay, so now that I've selected hub or global navigation as my source, when I click the icon over here for global navigation, you're gonna see that these links here line up exactly with what my hub site navigation is set as. So the two sources that we've discussed so far, the benefit is, is that if you change the navigation within the site, that will automatically change in the app bar. Because your app bar is fed by those sources, they are automatically going to change congruently. Uh, the third and final option, if you don't have a home uh, hub site navigation set up, if you don't have a home site dedicated, um, or if you just simply want a, to customize what your global navigation looks like in the app bar, then what you're going to do is click this button here, edit global navigation, and here you can set up a personalized list. You can add links um, to sites anywhere in SharePoint and you'll have a customized list that you've manually created here um, as your global navigation in the app bar. Uh, the only downside with that is that it is only fed from this 
source. So once you create it here, the site owner will have to maintain it. Um, any updating links, any changes in your navigation that you want to create, you'll want to go back and do that manually from this area. Just a couple other quick notes. Um, the app bar is not yet available on classic SharePoint. It will be soon in the future. We don't have an exact date yet. Also, the app bar does not show up for any guests who have guest access to any SharePoint sites um, that you've allowed them to within your organization. So if you have any guests, they will not have the app bar experience. A couple of pitfalls to the new app bar. Um, number one, it does create, if you have hub site navigation set up and you're usually working on sites that are within your hub, it's, it does create a duplicate navigation experience. Um, again, if you're outside of this site a lot, working on you know projects or other team sites, it's not an issue. The global navigation is uh, very helpful, but as you can see right now, I can already see this navigation um, at the top of my screen, so I don't need to make that extra click to get it get to it from the app bar. Um, another downfall is that besides the icon, besides the ability to add your logo, there's no customization available for the colors or anything. You just get this uh, grayish standard looking app bar and everyone's is the same. So there are some designers who that will make their screen, skin crawl a little uh, if they've spent hours making a beautiful SharePoint site. So overall, the SharePoint app bar was created to provide a consistent navigation, um, global navigation experience to all of your users, but also to give them very quick, easy access to sites and news and files that they frequent. So no more having to worry about jumping between SharePoint sites to access that information or document that you're currently wanting to work on. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment box below and we'll respond to you. Sometimes the questions get a little bit more complex. In that case, we would love to invite you to our office hours. We do them on the first Wednesday of every month and we'll leave information on how to register to access that down below. It's completely free, but it gives us a chance to speak to people one-on-one -on -one and answer more in-depth questions that we might not do as well in the comment box. Um, we also have an entire learning center available on our website. So if you like this type of information, uh, or if you have questions on this or other Microsoft products that we have on our YouTube site, we have you know, other resources through the, through the Learning Center, which includes videos, blog articles, and more. So we'd love for you to check that out as well. There is a link to that in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.